Europa 3 is the mission that we're developing for the European Space Agency and we have two main objectives. The first one being uh, the demonstration of formation flying technologies and the second one is to allow for the observation of the inner solar corona. Europa 3 consists of two spacecraft. One of them has a telescope which is pointing towards the sun and the other carries an occulting disk. What we do with the formation flying is to position the disk in front of the telescope such that the solar disk is occulted from the point of view of, of the telescope and it allows to see exclusively the much fainter solar corona. Besides that, one of the main challenges is the accuracy with which we want to achieve the formation. Positions need to have an accuracy of a couple of millimeters and pointings of a thousandth of a degree. And all of that while both spacecraft are flying at speeds between 1 and 10 kilometers per second. The last challenge would be the autonomy with which we want to achieve that. Each spacecraft is an independent intelligence robot that needs to compute its position and trajectory with respect to the companion without the support or the help from a human operator. Proba 3 Orbit is special because of the amount of activities we do. In essence, we want to generate an artificial eclipse of six hours, and for that we have to put the spacecraft aligned with the Sun. For this, we have to acquire, maintain and break the formation every orbit, making use of a suite of actuators and sensors ranging from relative GPS to a specifically designed laser tracker. It is kind of hard to do this because it needs to be autonomous. So it is impossible for ground to control the spacecraft individually and basically it sends some instructions for the next seven days and from that point onwards spacecraft will work on their own. This has required the development of some specific technologies to make up all the spacecraft to communicate each other, synchronize and cooperate, not only under nominal conditions but also if something goes wrong. And basically in this case we've stopped the operations, we put them in a specific special configuration to give enough time for ground to investigate the problem. This is a very important mission for us. This is the summit, this is the culmination of more than 25 years working in GNC and attitude control systems and information flying. Probably our expertise in these areas is what gave us the opportunity to lead such a complex mission as Proba 3. Formation flying is a fantastic technology in which uh, scientists are extremely interested because this open possibility of having separated parts of an instrument that maintain their distance tightly fixed. And that opens, well, new missions like, uh, for instance, uh, but not only, interferometry. This is a quite intensive year for us and for the rest of the companies of Probus Record team. During this summer, we have been testing the two satellites with Airbus and Redwire at the mechanical and thermal test facility of IBG here in Ottobrun. And meanwhile, Spacebell and GMV have completed the final version of the onboard software that we will test at Redwire when the satellites are back there. As you can see, we have still a lot of interesting challenges ahead before the launch next year.